until this point, I don't think I would have considered working with glass. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with glass because I don't particularly like glitzy and shiny things. So with my piece that I'm making here, it's, it's very much trying to use the properties of the glass, but slightly subdue them, so it's very, very subtle. The piece that I'm making for glass tress will be a series of um, free-flowing forms made with feathers that will ooze and undulate out of the rigidity of the glass. I had made lots of drawings in advance of coming here to try and discuss with Silvano, the maestro, um, how I wanted the work to be. So between the two of us, we managed to sort of um, get the forms sort of how I wanted, but actually they're more interesting than I had thought. So the quality and the nature of the glass is, is coming to the fore. It's not really me putting my um, st stamp on it yet. It will come later on. So when I was looking at, at glass, I didn't want anything that was a bit appearing decorative. A lot of the time I have a structure to then build my work from. This is exactly what I'm doing with the glass. The glass is my structure. The glass is telling me what Silvano has blown and a lot, according to my shapes will provide the architecture for my piece to flow out of. Yeah, now really it's great because when last time I saw them they were red, red oh. hot. <laughs>